Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial. This one is based on the demon from the new movie Insidious 4, The Last Key. Okay, here I'm using a small handful of polymorph plastic. Once you get a little handful, put them in hot water, roughly about 150 degrees until the plastic goes clear. Then grab a small piece and carefully shape them into the size of a small tooth. I ended up making 11 top teeth and 8 bottom teeth. You can make them look normal or pointed or even try shaping them different ways you want to or both, whichever you prefer that you feel suits you for your demon. You can cut and trim to the shape and size you want. If you feel that the plastic's starting to harden, just dip it back into the hot water till it softens up again, and then you can shape it and remodel it the way you want to. Here, I'm using Daz modeling material and using my own mask, my own face, facial mask. I shaped out the protruding nose, making it stick out and away from my own nose so that there is room for me to breathe underneath. Make sure you blend out all the edges and lumps and bumps. And then when you feel happy, start making out all the edges and details that you need that you feel looks like the reference picture of your demon. And uh, finding a demon picture of this last key movie is an absolute nightmare i had a job finding one that suited that was you know easy to find but the one i did have i did as best i could for the reference picture to to shape and model it just as i could as as, as simple as the same as a reference picture i then added liquid latex and some flour and together if you mix it together it gives a nice stodgy material which you then can apply once to your clay without having to use five or six or seven layers. And, and then you can easily spread over the material as I'm doing here. And it just gives it a nice thick amount so that you can work with easily and then you can you know mask out the the edges and where you need to dig out bits and pieces that you know to make the actual defining look it it makes it a little bit more easier Don't forget to spread it over your eyebrows and uh, to give it that stern look and over your cheekbones to make your cheekbones stand out more. Just gives it a little extra.
Then once you've the covered the required amount, just dip your finger into some liquid latex and just smooth it all out and taking out all the bubbles and the bumpy bits and just make it look smooth and more skin like. Then when that's done, you can start adding your teeth that you made earlier. Lay them in the position you'll feel you're happy with, not forgetting to slightly push them into the latex for support. And then just go over again with a little bit more skin latex just to smooth them out. When you feel happy with all that and that's how it looks and you're quite happy with it all, leave it for at least 24 hours to dry. After 24 hours and it's completely dried, brush a talcum powder, or in my case I'm using transparent loose powder, all over the mask and then carefully peel the edges, also brushing under so it stops the latex rolling and sticking together. Okay, whoops, the tooth has started to fall out there, but if that happens, just use a little bit of skin latex or skin adhesive to glue it back together. On this part, I mix together black and white cream paint to give a very, very pale grey, as in his reference picture, he's not really that white. I then covered the whole area, leaving the gum. You can always adjust a little bit more white or a little bit more darker just to, to give it the, the right colour you need. You can always just, just keep trying. It's trial and error with this painting. So, um, But I found that I didn't want him dead, dead white. 
I wanted him to have a little bit of a palish colour, but not dead white. So we, we've given him a little bit of a, a grey look. I'm using a red lipstick liner here just to uh, outline the shape of his nose as he's got very long, large nostrils. And then after that, I just painted in the nostrils black with just black water paint. For the gums, I'm using a red and brown cream paint mixed together um, to give it a very deep reddish brown. Uh, so I just added that to all the parts of the gum area. I then added some Grimace tooth enamel to give his teeth a slight decoloration because no demon has pearly white teeth at the end of the day. So just popped a little bit on the top of the edges and then just using my finger, I just brought the, the colour down a little bit so it just gives it that little discoloration look. I also added some clear nail varnish just to give it that little uh, wet look. I popped on an old board cap, making sure to glue down the sides using skin adhesive. 
Then I added liquid latex to the area using about three layers just to cover the edges so you can't see the join and gives an even look. Don't forget to glue stick those eyebrows so that you don't get that glue stuck to them because it hurts like hell pulling it off. Once you feel happy that it's glued down enough and it's covered it all, I then added some white snazaru water paint to cover my bald cap and my neck and chest areas. I blacked out and shaded my eyes using black grimace makeup. Making sure to get deep into the corners and then just using a black eyeliner pencil to cover my eyeliner. I found a really old wig that I've had for quite a while and cut a few long strangly strands. I then glued them to the bald cap using skin adhesive. The best thing to do is once you apply the glue, it's best to wait for a few seconds till the glue feels tacky and then apply the hair. This way it sticks better and stronger. Don't forget to add a few little angry lines and worried look lines, the grimacing lines to your face using either a, a black water paint or a black eyeliner pencil, black liquid gel eyeliner pencil, any of those will do. Don't forget to shade in a few little black areas just to give it that little uh, stipple look and dark shady look. Here I'm popping in yellow contacts because that's all I had on me. But I believe the demon wears like a orange black contact lenses but they're quite expensive so I make do with the yellow ones I got. Here I'm using Snazaru FX Wax. I rolled a little bit onto my finger, pushing down the edges to blend it into my skin. 
and then you can always use a little bit of Vaseline to help blend it in together and then with the key I cut the end off and stuck that into the top of the wax because this demon has keys for fingers and there you go there's my look I hope you enjoyed my tutorial I really enjoyed making this tutorial please like comment and subscribe many thank you people thanks